I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Finally got the tier 9 Carl 14 Johan. And this is a review about it and what do I think about it. But before we begin, like, subscribe, button below. If you guys like what we're doing here, you guys see any value in it, thanks for uh, the sharing all the comments and everything really appreciate it if you want to help and support the channel like subscribe bell button below as always we talked about at 2000 uh subs we're gonna give a premium dd giveaway hey let's get right to it so carl 14 johan man the basic stats right there you can take a look at it pause it it's it's okay it's kind of like a tier 9 uh, rupric uh kind of like their german style design if you look at it it's almost very very similar um, but it's kind of a weaker version of the tier nine rubric. I don't think it has as much uh, packing power. It's got 305 millimeter guns. It's got 12 of them. You can see right here. Good angles, 35 degrees. Reloads decent, 25 seconds. Not bad. It doesn't punch as hard though with the 305 millimeter guns. I like to have bigger guns like 405s or 406s. Uh, secondaries is where we're trying to figure out: is it a viable option? It's not like the tier nine rubric. If I had to say, tier nine rubric should definitely outmatch this, especially if Schlieffen uh, does a lot better job. But again, Again, we'll take a look at it, see how it works. Uh, they don't pin as much uh, damage, and the reloads are decent, and the dispersion not as great. Torpedoes is actually a good selling point since it's a European-style ship. You actually get these nice kind of like, uh, I would say, Holland kind of torpedoes they're quick 86 knots 6.9 second reaction time but they go out to 13.5 kilometers so we'll take a look at see how those uh all work out this is a full secondary build as always we're talking about it we'll see if is this a viable option it's got the 12 guns and maneuverability is take a look at it how maneuvers throughout the battles this is a two battle game so we'll take a look at both battles see how they do and the torpedoes to see if, are they actually decent and then a good option they don't go as far i would say i still like the holland 15 kilometer range but 13.5 is not as bad and they go 86 six knots so let's take a look at it concealment is the selling point concealment is 10.5 which i'm sorry 10.6 which the uh, max range of the uh, secondaries is 10.5 as you can see they're starting to pop off right now so we're going to see how we're going to take on the cruiser now i'm sorry destroyer we have a Apollo Emilio, which is the suicide YOLO, YOLO, ROLO, whatever you want to call it. Kind of just suicide yourself to go kill a battleship kind of uh, DD gameplay. So let's take a look. Now, we do have five kilometer hydro, which is really decent to have. So we can see where those torpedoes and those pesky DDs are coming from, especially ones that hide in smoke. So Palomino did not know probably we had hydro. So we he's just basically rushing to his death inside of a hydro screen right now. And look at all these secondaries firing our 305 millimeter guns. Hopefully take out his torpedoes in time. But he's probably repairing and let's see if the secondaries do take him out and yep at that range you are first blood in good close quarters combat splash one he goes down let's see if we can get another splash two right here and at the other destroyer right here notice the speed of this thing it's decent it's not as fast i would say as the germans let me take a look at the uh the stats right here i think the speed right now is right here max speed is 30.5 notch which definitely i know that the schlieflin and the uh rupert can go a lot faster so you are a little disadvantaged with the speed but the concealment should make up for it because as soon as you get spotted at 10.6 you should be within range of your secondaries firing 10.5 now look at this thing is taking on the Kier sarge right here are the secondaries actually viable and actually doing efficient damage and as of right now the, this thing ranks in the middle i would say the 18th for tier 9 through tier 11 super ships this thing ranks around the 18 or level mark so in the middle range of all the ships that are available at the moment of this video is being made for the update so it's not as high dpm that's actually hitting the target that uh it's again schlieffen is still number one in that department so it, it, this thing although it's like a, a tier 9 rubric it doesn't really provide the amount of firepower i think to warrant such a build and it's it, the health the health pool is 72,000. not bad bad but I, again, not without having those low damage, the slow damage cons, they don't have the rubric you know, quick damage cons, and the heals is just decent. I don't know if this thing is a good pusher and brawler per se. It's got the torpedoes going for us. Take a look. We can rush this care charge with torpedoes, but and take a look how they go. Angle is a decent, but again, if you're nosed into these things, these torpedoes don't pack a wallop or anything, and uh, they're just there to scratch the paint and see how they go. Again, we're not really getting much penetration on these secondaries uh, on the front side, the holes or the sides, so it, it's really lacking without the IFHE, the 32 millimeter pin that most German battleships do get, so I don't know it, if it is decent to do those kind of pushes like the German line does. European line, I, th I would think, is a little bit lacking in this department. I think it's more just for sheer fireworks and firepower. But again, without that 32 millimeter or plus pin, 
these things are kind of just like fireworks. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and turn away from this destroyer. It's not worth chasing. We already got two caps. So, we're going to speed up the video right here and show the maneuverability of this thing. Can we maneuver in and out of, you know, tight little corners right here? Look at those long shots right here with AP. And we actually get some damage over pins. Again, these guns are kind of wonky. I mean, these are things that belong on like a cruiser, like Alaska or something. But yeah, 305 millimeter, not the biggest guns that you can have on this thing. It's this thing is probably like a glorified uh, super cruiser, if you want to call that. But we're going to go ahead and push right here in the middle and see if we can get these secondaries clacking off again. Again, look, I like the concealment. The 10.6 is good. It allows you to push in a little bit better. However, uh, if you got DDs and no DD support, it is very kind of difficult just, difficult just to push the DD by yourself. Let's see if this um, this run again actually knows that we have Hydro and see what he does. Is he going to pop his smoke right here and go... Uh, kind of farming mode right here. But anyways, we'll launch some torpedoes out there. Now, there's Prince Rupric. Now, the Prince Rupric, again, is the... I would recommend go the go-to battleship for this kind of role. Again, you're going to see his secondary is going to be way better than ours and out DPMs us very well. And they actually are penetrating a lot of our armor because, again, that, that 32 mil pin or 37 mil pin of his guns actually does a better job, I think. And uh, you know, it, it just goes to show how... I would say this is not as effective and efficient... And I would say, ooh, he didn't know that we had uh, Hydro, huh? This Goronigan right here. See if we can get another shot off before we die. Way too many fires. Without that damage con, it's really difficult to push it in Brawl. But, oh, I had to show this part right here. Uh, we basically win the battle because of this little crisscross applesauce right here. Torpedoes coming from right and left, and the Rupric has just got nowhere to go. And boom, win the game like that. Nice work on the destroyers right there, but again, that's destroyer gameplay. Good coordination, good shots. Let's take another video right here. We're going to go ahead and in another map with the ABC map. And uh, normally, this is this map. I would probably talk about. You're supposed to attack this in the clockwise pattern, which means if you're in the south, go AB. If you're in the north, go CB. That's how it normally works, and how we've seen it work out in clan battles. However, our team right here just went all over the place. Again, this is ranked. No communication, no coordination. We're just having fun playing. Now, I don't know what this Takashi... What is this? I can't say that name. I don't know how to say it. But anyways, he's reversing into it. I don't know if he knows what we're capable of. That. I don't think he thinks we have torpedoes. Again, this is kind of a new ship for a lot of people just released. And he's just constantly reversing. Takashi? Yeah, that's probably correct me if I don't know how to pronounce it, Takashi. But anyways, it's a cruiser that's reversing into us, and he's not really paying attention to what this ship can do. Torpedoes launch right there, down the line, and he just can't do anything about it. And boom, splash one, a devastating strike, and first blood of the game. He probably learned a good lesson, valuable lesson there, that Carl's got torpedoes, so take note of that. It's always good to know what the latest update and what the newest ships out there have. Uh, probably not the best solution to back into a, sh a, a battleship that has 12 guns aimed at you, loaded with AP as well as torpedoes. So that was pretty cool right there. Anyways, we're going to go ahead, again, in this map, clockwise pattern. So what you're seeing is I would cap alpha and then move clockwise movement going back up to Bravo and flanking them into the north. That's how this map typically works because why? It's just a mirror image of each other. The, the, those at Charlie have the advantage with all those islands on the west side to protect and give you cover as and vice versa for Alpha where on our side starting the south, we have the islands there to protect us. So that's why they always call it the clockwise attack pattern for this map. You can see we're going to go ahead and uh, slowly push into Bravo over here and see if we can get... Again, this ship is very, very slow. I, I don't know what else to do to improve the speed. I mean, it's got the flag on it. I could do Swift Asylum, but that would be sacrificing the secondaries. Again, we're trying to find out if the secondaries are a viable option for this style of uh, build. But I'm starting to feel like the, the Carl Yawn is just kind of a gimmick thing. It's really... It's just there to get you to spend money and get the ship. Would I recommend it as a secondary build? Not really. I think there are other ships that do a way better job. Rupert is still in tier 9 probably the best suitable option for that role we launch our torpedoes right here let's see if they actually do hit our target and hit the mark right there we launch where he's probably going to end up being so a tip for you guys if you want to know how to play the torpedoes these days it just seems like with so much hydro and everything you're really just going to have to shoot where you think or where i always shoot now where the other battleship is not so i kind of figure out okay he's right there then i'm probably gonna, he's going to reverse right so he's not about 100 meters to the right so i'm going to aim to 100 meters to the right because guess what he's probably going to head that direction and it turns like i was correct he's reversing to get position so where he wasn't at a few seconds ago he is now in and boom splash two he's down and that is how we use torpedoes again let me know if you like that kind of gameplay that style of the torpedoes 
Would I recommend this as a torpedo battleship? Not really, because you're a battleship. You're supposed to be, you know, so giving fire support and, and attacking and supporting your cruisers and, and, and destroyers. Not necessarily, a, hey, let's go run and torp ships without uh, exposing yourself. So, again, the torpedoes that are there as kind of like nice gimmick, at, well, like the Rupert has torpedoes, but our, the only difference is our torpedoes are a little bit faster. 86 knots with a 6.9 second reaction time. So, decent. They're there just to, hey, if we need to go brawl, do it to it. But let's see if we can attack the Kearsarge again. Let's see if we can uh, see if these secondaries or even our guns can actually outmatch or do something to his armor. He is pretty heavily armored with 84,000 HP. We take a nice broadside shot right here. Do we get all 12 guns? Yep, we do. The angles are decent. You got to get a little bit of exposure there. And we only get four. Oh, I got 8,000. Okay, not bad, not bad. That was an, enough damage. Now, the a main battery, you're going to have to expose to get all 12 guns, 35 degrees, so decent uh, angling, but again, the armor is not strong enough. Uh, you're going to have to angle even more than 35 degrees exposure because, man, uh, this thing is still lightly armored, not very good for brawling. It's got a little bit extra HP uh, compared to the Prince Rupert. I use the Tier 9 Rupert as a good example because it's a good comparison because we kind of are secondary battleships. So let's see if we can engage again. We're going to engage the Alaska. Oh, and now we got the Kitakazi. I will select him priority. Always get the DD player out of the game first. And we're going to do a drive-by here with the torpedoes with secondaries all firing. And we launch torpedoes at us. So again, we're going to have to prioritize the torpedoes. We'll angle against that. Yeah, I know it's bad. It shows broadside to Alaska, but we have torpedoes. So let's see if we can try it out. We launch two spreads right there and let's see if it's enough to kill him. And it actually is not. So we had to rely on our Zuma to kill. And we get the final kill on the kit to Kaze. Great, great work right there. Good job, team. But that is the Carl 14 Yohan. Do I recommend this ship to spend money on? If you're looking for a secondary ship, I would say no. So I'm going to have to give it a thumbs down. I did not see the enjoyment and the play style of it. Yeah, you get a lot of secondary shooting, fireworks, and everything. You get hits, but it doesn't uh, provide the effectiveness that I would like. I'd rather stick to the Tier 9 Rupric, which is a tech tree line. You don't have to spend money on it. You can grind it out. Torpedoes are decent. Eh, maneuverability, speed, eh. So, again, this is kind of just an average, maybe good for rank, maybe perhaps not as viable as I would think for uh, randoms, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is a viable secondary or torpedo boat or, if you, or battleship if you would want to play it? Here Here's the build on the screen. Let me know. Pick a pause, take a gander, and as always, like, subscribe, bubble, and below. Share this video, and I appreciate all the support. Take care. Cheers.